Pisces, welcome to your timeless reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter placements in your birth chart. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your beautiful, wonderful comments and your donations. I really appreciate all of you, and I appreciate all that you do in the channel and your support. Please give it a like if this resonates for you. Keeping in mind that these are general. Not every Pisces will be going through this scenario here before us today. So give it a like, hit that thumbs up, and share if you will. Remember Pisces, this is a reading for Pisces, but for some of you it could resonate the other way around. Please take the messages as they resonate for you. Don't make it fit. If it doesn't, leave it for someone else. And if something seems irrelevant to you, um, remember that it could be relevant to someone else here. So please keep that in mind as well. Alright Pisces. These are timeless, so let's see what's going on for you. Let's find out. Okay, it says treat yourself. Okay, eat whatever you want. All right, don't deprive yourself. If your body is feeling drawn to a specific food, eat what you like. Replenish. Okay, there may be, you may be, um, low on a specific vitamin that a food can provide for you so you know take that into consideration or maybe you just want to eat what you want okay spirits telling you to eat what you desire don't starve yourself don't like deprive yourself all right yeah maybe you're thinking about something you used to eat indulge in and you're missing it memories com comfort us and Spirit is saying it's it's okay. <laughs> it's not like you have to eat it every day, you know. Um, your body may be craving it because it needs something from it. Yeah, we have do not disturb regeneration in progress. This may be why you don't eat what you want because there's a regeneration happening within you, okay. You know, some of you could be like vegans or something and maybe you're like missing, you know, that juicy piece of steak or that, you know, chicken wing or, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> or maybe you, you know, you've cut some certain carbs out of your system because you could be, you know, uh, allergic to gluten, you know, or simply because you feel it doesn't serve your highest state of being or your body in general. All right. But it's okay to uh, do something, you know. It could be, you know, sweet potato fries here with cheese or something. You know, it doesn't have to be meat if you're a vegetarian. Um, but something that makes you feel or maybe cl in close nature to whatever you used to eat. Some sort of comfort food. So if you're a vegan, like, you can do, um, I believe it's lion's mane. That if you look it up here on YouTube, you can actually get to to taste just like a steak, even look like a steak. I believe it was lion's mane. You know, you know, and, and that's not for everybody, but you know. So take it out, it resonates. All right, let's see what else. Yes, say it louder. Okay. Power, personal power. Saying something with, um, with vigor, with truth, with honor something you believe in one more yeah, party in your heart getting in touch with that inner child returning to innocence Pisces okay yeah not suppressing what you normally would say as a child right children have no filter okay some of you are maybe a little bit busy and you need to get in touch with your inner child okay because maybe you've been saying it loud and proud for for some time fighting for something right um but there is a, a time of rest i've been getting that for a lot of people okay there's a period of transformation happening for a lot of us and there's a a time for rest that is needed through this regeneration this uh shift process that's happening Okay, I've been, and also what you eat is also important here. You know, don't overdo it, but don't um, completely deprive yourself. So let's see. 
yeah, tomorrow's another day. So some of you are overworked and need to maybe just step away. Aquarius had this as well as, as another sign too. I can't remember. I think it was Capricorn. Say it three times. I don't care. All right. I'm not okay. If you're not okay and you're overworked, just, you know, say it. You deserve abundance. Yes. Some of you are working hard to be in a very, you know, maybe you're working towards financial freedom. Okay. And you just want to be in a space where you're not always, you know, in the hustle and bustle. The, the, the body needs rest. Anybody that tells you that you should be seven days a week in the hustle and grind and the hustle and bustle. No, that's not the way we are wired. The body also needs rest. It needs time to relax. It needs time to just chill. It needs time to just, you know, get away, stay, you know, spend some time in the sun. You know? It's not always like you got to do this like clockwork, get up at 4 a.m. and go to sleep at 8 a.m. every day and work, 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 work. What kind of experience are we going to have doing that, right? Um, the work experience. Uh, where's the love and the happiness and the uh, me time and the fun time? You know what I mean? <laughs> That's important too, believe it or not. Abundance is all-encompassing of the good life. Financial, love, happiness, joy, laughter. Very important. All right. Uh, that's for somebody. Okay, let's see what else. Mm, somebody's holding back some passion. Yeah. It could be somebody in your energy, or this could be you. Treat yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's for somebody. <laughs> somebody may want to treat themselves to you, Pisces. Okay, they're holding back. And it, it's becoming harder and harder to hold back. Alright, let's see. Whether it's from someone or something you want. Alright, let's see what we got here, Pisces. What do we got for my Pisces? Queen of Cups, that's you. Nurture thyself. Eat what you want. Knight of Swords, do not disturb. Regeneration and progress. Okay, there may be some disruption with this Knight of Swords here. King of Swords, say it louder. Okay. Whatever you're thinking here, say it loud, say it proud. And Page of Swords, party in your heart. This is giving me like, you know, watching stuff. Things that uh, bring you back to childhood. Could be like watching fantasy movies, sci-fis, you know. It's giving me fantasies. Or cartoons or something like that. Or reading child books. Maybe reading books to your children. And that also helps you in the process. Um, you know, reading whatever interests you. Seven of Wands. Okay. Some of you have been um, protecting your energy for so long that in your body, it's almost like, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. I cannot have that. <laughs> Don't try to give me, don't tempt me. Don't tempt me with a good time <laughs> with food. <laughs> okay, well, it's almost like if somebody offers you something that you know you don't want to have because you can't have, even though you may crave it from time to time. Maybe you're on a diet for some of you. Um, it's like <laughs> you, you, uh, I don't know, you, you're quick to say something about it. The sun, yeah, happy time, regeneration, and progress. Okay, getting some sun, definitely. Some uh, sun rays. Five of Wands would say it louder. Whatever you have to say, there may be some controversy to it. 
But spirit is like, say it anyway. Speak your truth. No filter. Three of Wands. Distancing yourself. Maybe spending some time outside. Some of you could be watching your tablet outdoors as you... Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like some watching something online, reading the paper, something. Something that connects you to your heart, your inner child. Now, there could be somebody at a distance looking at you, okay? And there's like a party in their heart because you do something. You, you spark someone's interest here. With this card, I'm getting, who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs out? <laughs> Maybe you're letting the dogs out as a form of metaphor because you are empowering, um, you know, like-minded individuals, okay, is also what I'm getting. Page of Pentacles, message, again, reading, text, the chariot. With the Page of Wands and the Hierophant. Some of you could be leaders, okay? Um, Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. Some of you are very creative. I'm also getting some of you um, sing religious songs. Like you're a, a religious song writer. I got that for somebody. You will have victory and success with that, okay? Uh, yeah, because I see somebody writing here. Some of you are spiritual songwriters, okay? Or there's something creative that you do. You have um, a gift that the Most High distilled upon you. It could be a specific instrument. But whatever you learn, maybe you're learning something new or you're thinking about it, you will be successful at it. Okay, we have the Empress. Okay, the Empress with the Nine of Wands. This could also be um, you being someone that somebody can trust. You being that warrior in your life. Okay, you've been through some things. Alright. You may be um, wanting to be in some sort of new connection in your life, moving forward. But you're waiting on God's timing. Yeah, temperance, divine timing, balance. You could be an earth angel here. And there's the emperor. Okay, there it is, two of wands. You may be bumping into somebody somewhere along this journey. That's what I'm seeing. All right. Some of you have been through a lot in relationships, so you, you don't want to be in just any kind of relationship. You want a relationship where you can learn from each other and it will be very successful. And with the Emperor being here, that is wish fulfillment. Okay, we got the Queen of Swords with the Star, Aquarius energy. But what I'm seeing is you've been healing aspects of who you are with the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Swords. Okay, with that Empress being there. And we have the King of Wands. I knew somebody was holding back some passion. There's some sort of sexual healing between you and someone else when you come together. Yeah, four swords. You guys are both thinking about each other. Wishing for the same thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's for somebody. King and Queen of Swords also. And we have the King of Pentacles. You may have a secret crush. There may be a couple people crushing on you here. But we do have the Emperor. This Emperor could be going through shadow work or there's something else they're um, uh, doing here before they take this leap of faith. Four of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. They are single. Yeah, this is somebody that wants to manifest and court you. Yeah, they might have just found out some truth that kind of um, hurt their heart with the Ace of Swords and the Five of Cups. Somebody they were investing in. Yeah. And they closed out that chapter. Okay. So you got an emperor and an empress here. Coming together here. 
and this emperor is doing some healing. That might be what comes in with communication. It's good communication with the sun being there. And could be at a distant horizon. I feel like this person's looking at you, watching you, taking baby steps towards you. They could have went through some drama. And maybe they had to stand up for something. They, they, they could have had to stand up for themselves here. Or this is you. Alright, let's see Pisces. We have rescue. Rescue me. Da -da 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 -da. Rescue me. And we have challenge. Hmm. Yeah, I there's something about this knight of swords. The challenge could be someone uh, communicating with you also. Or you communicating to someone. There's a happiness to it, um, but there may be, I don't know, something about it. We'll clarify. Yeah, we have connection and dream. Dream. Dream, dream, dream. Somebody's definitely dreaming about you at a distance. It's like they're in thought about this connection. They could even have, um, I don't know, maybe inner conflict about it. But this is somebody that stands up and says what they have to say. And they will. If there's anybody like talking, like let's say this is the person watching, if it's not you. And there could be people in their ear. Like this person is going to stand up for you and stand up for themselves. When it comes to some sort of connection that they see um, coming together here. Yeah, we have devotion. Yeah, wow. Family and treasure. Simplicity. Yeah, this person, you know, they may see you as a treasure. Treasure, that is what you are. Baby, you're my golden star. With devotion. This person will be very devoted to you. I feel like this person wants to start a family. Okay, simplicity, keeping it simple on this new adventure they see with you and releasing what doesn't serve them which we see they they close out a chapter and setting boundaries now you could be setting boundaries here ready to go on an adventure and be devoted to someone and uh, treasure is giving me like that ten of Pentacles with family um, you know building a building a solid foundation with someone you can you know grow with grow roots with okay let's see what else Pisces I want to clarify that Knight of Swords because it's really sticking out to me because there may be somebody here trying to cause a challenge and you're over here happy-go-lucky all right let's see what else we got What goes around comes back around. So you're protecting your energy here. So if somebody's trying to send you some negative energy, you're sending it right back. Not in a negative way. It's just protecting your energy. And we have rescue. Okay, so I feel like some sort of karma backfired on someone. And now they want to be... Now they're asking for help. Oh. <laughs> Okay, the altar with challenge. The messenger. There is a message here. Uh, connection, we'll get to it. 1111 with connection. You have a connection to somebody here. 
Could be a twin for some of your divine counterpart. And we have luck with dream. Somebody feels lucky to have met you, seen you, run across you somehow. 11-11 with luck, the altar, and what goes around comes around. With level two. Clarify this uh, Knight of Swords. Beach day getaway. Okay. With the sun. Maybe riding their bike to the beach for some of you. Or you. Or just driving to the beach. Putting your water and your toes in the sand. I mean, putting your water. Putting your, your feet and your toes in the sand on the beach. That's what it's giving me. Yeah. Regeneration. Getting some rays. You know, with the challenge, I'm getting there's going to be a challenge to get to the altar. Marriage in a situation. Or someone was perhaps even going to marry someone and it was a challenge for them because that's not where they wanted to be. They might have met you just in time. Because they're in their head here like, huh. It's like, well, I'll be damned. Because 1111, there's some sort of signs and synchronicities about whatever they're going through. And them standing up for themselves. Okay, so there could be some friends that are for this and against it. Or in the situation that they were in. Hmm. Of course it's not up to them yeah see you on the other side this person's healing and letting go okay again this person is protected you're protected but they're very protective yeah leveling up okay yeah there's a lot of passion here that's what I'm getting with this wand it says candle magic what I feel is the connection between you and, and this person will be very magical okay celebrate your wins with a community here eyes on your own paper so somebody may be a part of a community would say it loud or this could be you you're celebrating your wins is something that this could be a business that's very successful okay this could be some sort of seminar or or something you may become part of a community here and leveling up and letting go of something yourself. Let's see. Let's get into this. Good outcome with hope and great water. That's what the three of wands is given. Hope and great water. Something coming in. A new day with the sun here. protect your skin if you're out in the sun I'm also seeing it's five o'clock somewhere <laughs> all right that's for some of you military person what goes around comes around living room Okay. Uh, beach day getaway. Journey. Okay. Some of you will be visiting some sort of place. Some of you could be moving by the beach. We have good gentlemen. Okay, so if this is not you taking some time to replenish. Is somebody else here? 11-11 um, connection. Unexpected money. And we just went through the portal of abundance. So, yeah. It looks to me like uh, you or this person are in alignment for something. Uh, tell me about luck and dream. Yeah, good outcome. Okay, whatever this is, there will be a good outcome. 
Somebody here could be in the military. They could be very protective over you, even. Clarify. Yeah, rich girl. With military person. And this person having some unexpected money. With child. And we have a child here. Somebody here could have a child. Yeah, great fortune, house. So you could be meeting somebody that's in the military. Clarify rescue. Living room. His thoughts. This person has you in their thoughts while they're sitting in the living room. And I feel like if they're watching you, there's something about you because they feel lucky to have met you. They dream about you. They watch you, Page of Swords, and they feel lucky to have met you. They're thinking about you. It's almost like you rescued them from something, and they want to protect you because of it. Maybe it's just your energy or something you said, um, something they feel or, or intuit when it comes to you. Okay, that's what I'm getting. They may be talking to somebody about this or, you know... Hmm. Let's get some tarot here. All right, clarify this military person. Yeah, this is a giver. Six of Pentacles. Okay, this person was giving to some something. Okay, they were giving to a situation with the devil. This person may be highly taken for granted also by low vibrational energies. Yeah, I think they were. This is somebody in another situation. Protecting you from it. So you're you're the tasty treat here when it comes to them. Um, and they could be dealing with a rich girl, a daddy girl. Let me see. Clarify rich girl. The Knight of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, this is somebody slowly coming towards you to make you some sort of offer. Some of you may be... getting an opportunity from this person no they, you may marry into money honestly that's what I'm getting the Hierophant with the nine of cups either that or they see you as a spiritual leader and that's why they feel like you rescued them okay whether it's spiritual or religious and they see you as the nine of cups look the Empress they see you as a wife Or you see someone as a wife. This is somebody planning, coming in a distant horizon. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, justice with the Wheel of Fortune. Because um, whatever situation they were in, Three of Cups with the Five of Pentacles, was a low vibrational. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, we, I think we have enough on that. So what is this unexpected money? The sun. Whatever this is, it's a good outcome. The sun with 1111 portal and unexpected money. In connection could be to something. Queen of Wands. 
with the magician. Wow. So there you go. Page of Swords. I feel like somebody wants to manifest you. Or you're manifesting somebody here. The Strength with the Three of Pentacles. There's some sort of contract with the Page of Swords and the Three of Pentacles here. And it, it could be spiritual because we have the magician. You're manifesting something. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. We have unexpected income. Something you've been patiently waiting on, perhaps. Maybe it's due to, um, I don't know, what you do, what you say, what you speak. Something creative, creative writing. I am getting something about writing. Maybe somebody likes the way you express yourself also. Some of you may be writers or you like to write stuff. You could be poetic, you know. Somebody may want to invest in that. Maybe they admire that you let you say it loud and proud. That could be it as well. Maybe they want to help you here. Yeah, King of Swords, once again. They feel like perhaps you have some sort of gift or something. Yeah, they want to come towards you and have some sort of conversation. They are going through something. I knew that Knight, Knight of Swords was uh, giving me bad vibes. Five of Swords. Remember I wanted to clarify it here? Somebody's trying to disrupt someone's peace. And they're moving on from whatever this is. They could be on a vacation actually right now. Or oh, this is you. Okay. Because there's somebody here. This is giving me aggression. Five of Swords with the Knight of Swords. Somebody's pissed that this person is not giving to this devil energy. They're protecting their energy. And protecting you in the process. Huh. This could be uh, childhood friends. Or family members. Yeah, trying to hold them back. They could be even greedy. Yeah, trying to hold them back from the Ace of Cups. Yeah, somebody that's single, independent. Yeah, this person... Somebody was betraying this person. Hmm. Okay. Uh, good outcome here. This could be something you're intuiting. This is your card, the High Priestess. There's a good outcome. Or somebody feels intuitively that this will end as a good outcome. If this is somebody you don't know very well. They feel this would be a great outcome. Page of Wands. Dare to dream. There's something creative here. Whoa. Three of Cups. With the Queen of Swords. I feel like this person wants to um, have a good time with you. Party in your heart. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. Temperance. Two of Pentacles. Six of Wands. With the Death card. So there's a cycle closing and one entering. Somebody could be dealing with someone immature here as well. We have a lot of threes here. Which is, you know, hence them closing out some sort of chapter in their life. King of Wands. Yeah, this person wants to, like, romance you, celebrate with you. They want a good outcome. They're definitely leaving someone out in the cold. Um because of something and again the high priestess with the three of cups there could have been something going on behind the scenes we do have the devil with the six of pentacles and I just feel like this person is protecting you it's like they don't want to hear anything negative when it comes to you yeah now, this person does want to send you some sort of message or present you with something because they do see you as wish fulfillment, but there may be some hesitation, okay, because of lack of confidence, perhaps. They are the king of wands, usually very confident, 
but they could still be afraid of rejection. I don't think that's going to happen here, though. Where's this journey taking this person? Let's see. Obviously towards you. Hmm. We have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, that's the challenge. Somebody's trying to lie and, and uh, stop this person from moving forward. And they're distancing themselves, okay? They don't want to hear no more lies. Yeah. I feel like somebody may, may have tried to um, ruin your reputation or in this person's eyes. There's somebody around this person that's kind of shady. Could be several people, but they're not listening to it. Okay? They're just not. Let's get some messages. What does this person have to say? That's healing. Yeah, gossip only hurts more. I can't make it up. People are trying to make you look bad so this person doesn't go towards you. But they already see it. They're protecting you. Yeah, they can't even look at whoever those people are right now. They can't believe that they would lie like this. This person is intuitive. Like, they know. So that's the challenge, is somebody here trying to get in the way of this um, happiness. And possibly because somebody else here wants you also. Alright. Look at this. Somebody could have said that you felt the same way about somebody else here. I'm getting two things with this. Because somebody here lied. Okay, they're trying to make you look like you want someone else. But I'm also seeing that this person wants you, but they may be afraid of the gossip that comes with this. Let's see. What is this? I'm open to compromise. Okay. Please give me time. I've never felt this way before. I want you to choose. So this person is smart, okay? They're trying to see who you're going to choose. So, hmm. This person's approach may be when they ask you out or message you, they may introduce you to like a a friend of me is what I'm getting because I feel like they're also trying to see what this person's intentions is because they feel like they're like lying or over speaking when it comes to you so they may introduce you to someone okay and they're gonna see how you react to that person that's what I'm getting this person has never felt this way before they feel some sort of pull towards you here they do want you they're open to compromise and they know that you're not gonna fall for whatever that is yeah nah would I want you to choose that's what I'm getting somebody's trying to sabotage this yeah cuz they're in their ego and they still don't have all the answers so somebody's lying about you and they're trying to figure it out yeah. You are beautiful. You are so beautiful. Why do you need me? Somebody may be saying, why would she choose you? There may be a, a little competition going on between him and someone else. It's like, why would she choose you? She wants me, not you. Yeah, they need to cut whoever that friend is off. These people in their stupid uh, competitions, you know, they always think they're in competition with someone. They're in their ego. Whoever this friend is, this love scares me. They are a little scared because somebody's putting a little doubt here. Yeah, 
You have so many choices and options. Somebody's saying, why would they choose you? They're so beautiful. But it's because that person wants to take a shot at it. Okay? So, these are like a couple people looking at you, wondering um, who your type is. You know, sometimes men get it, get, you know, they test women. And, um... It could, you know, Seven of Swords, it's not giving me a friendly competition. It could have started off as a friendly competition. But I feel like whoever they're, like, competitive with or that's competitive with them, this is turning to be turning out to be something a little more... Like, when you choose this person, that other person's going to start hating. And they're going to see a different side of this person. That's what I'm seeing. I think they both want you, but they want you to choose. But this person seeing, they feel like you have other op like a lot of options. So that's what they're thinking about here. Ace of Pentacles. You're going to have an offer. Or they see you as a, you know, lucky to stumble upon you. Yeah, if I asked you to stay, would you leave? Somebody's definitely going to make an offer, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they're, whoever they're friends with is only thinking about the sex part says you make me want to do bad things your family won't like me i just wish things were different somebody they know wishes it was them that you liked but happiness is your priority because you are in light in your light you're enlightened okay you're a good person then we have i miss you do you i need more time okay so i feel like this person um, is wondering, you know, if you miss them, if you like them, do you, you know, when they're not around or when they, we don't see them on social media, do you, do you think about them? They need a little more time. Yeah. Do you even care? You know, <laughs> but you already know. Okay. Cause you're very intuitive. I feel like you're going to have to use your intuition when it comes to, um, whoever this is and their friend, their friend mostly. Yeah, you already know. I can't even look at you right now. Or they already know who you would choose. I want to first start with you. Wrongful advice. This person is giving this person wrongful advice. Because I feel like they want a chance with you. And this person that's coming to you dreams about you a lot. They see you as someone very special. Somebody going to be in pain. I think so, yes. Because they already know the truth. So they need to think before they act. They already know who you want. I feel like there's two people. Two friends that fell for you. But one is a little shady. Yeah. Listen to your heart. You make my heart full. Now is not the time because they know it's going to be a no. So you got two people vying for your attention. So one of these people could be in the military. Maybe the other one isn't. Oh God. Is it really... I heard that song, we're brothers, da -da 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 I hope they're not brothers, oh boy, maybe that's for some of you, that would really suck, 44, 44 on the clock, oh, this is not going to go well, <laughs> I feel like you are meant to meet one of them, but the other one is going to be like jealous and they may they may be low vibrational they may be trying to make you look some type of way because they don't want to see you with their brother because they want you 
if it's a brother or a friend, or they get along like brothers, take it how it resonates. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it here because this is getting too long. Um, wow. It's something to think about. And there could be somebody here in a low vibration. Two people want to give to you, but one is coming to you correctly. And the other one may be a beggar. Or low vibration, obviously low vibrational. They need to cut this person off. I don't care who they are. Maybe that's who they're closing out a chapter with. They're going to have to. To have peace in this relationship. Because this person's going to try to get in the way. With lies and deception. So there could be a king of wands that's low vibrational. Immature. That likes to, uh, you know, maybe sleep around. And they're watching you dreaming about you they want a good outcome here but they're keeping it to themselves and then you have this king of swords that is in the right energy with the sun that's the one doing the work and this king of wands i feel is in their ego they're low vibrational they're used to see that's what it is this person could be attractive and they're used to the women flocking to them not their friend and if this person is seeing you as the empress this person is in competition with this person so they want whatever this person has because they want to win at all costs five of swords that we saw wow but it's not meant for them it's not that kind of situation so if that's how they like you know maybe in when they were younger, you know, they saw it in that way. I just feel like this person secretly just really envies whoever this person is that's coming into your life. So clearly something is going to come to light here when it comes to this person. And this person is going to have to create some sort of boundary with this person. Because I feel like this is why the Seven of Wands is here protecting you from a devil energy a low vibrational energy someone that's egotistical and again they could this could be someone that is in the military it doesn't have to be the person pursuing you it could be their brother or their best friend oh boy this could be an Aries also um, with the military person and uh, fire here because this is giving me like emperor energy could be an Aries doesn't have to be could be a Leo with strength and ego here uh, could be and this person coming to you could be a Capricorn or an air sign okay they could have air in their rising or, or they could be air yeah they could be a um, Aquarius Libra Gemini Sun I don't know or it could be their rising, their ascendant. Wow, Pisces. That's what I got. Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates. I wish you the best. Okay, whatever. <laughs> As your life um, gets closer and closer to this person, it's going to become a little interesting. Alright. Some tough decisions might have to be made here. And if this person... Um, tries to do anything that that can make you look some type of way make sure you stay away from this person because they're going to try to sabotage this they are because they want you to want them not not whoever this person is that you're connecting to that spirit is bringing into your life because there's a player okay this other person they're just in competition with this person they're watching you so this person that's coming to you might have shown them your social media your, or your pictures, you know, and now they started watching you secretly and pining for you. They want a good outcome. They want to get lucky here. They, they're dreaming about you. But I feel like they're catching feelings. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> that's what I got.
Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates, man. Um, I wish you the best, Pisces, with this situation. Um, whether you're male or female, could be two sisters, okay? Or two best friends that act like sisters. Whatever this is, if this if this friend, you know, makes a pass at you, don't fall for it. Because they're, they're going to tell this person about it anyway. So that you, whatever they have to do to keep you guys apart, because they know they can't have you. They know the answer already deep inside, but they're going to try it anyway. Alright. <laughs> I wish you guys the best. Thank you for watching. Peace. See you next time.